Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Survival State. A little bit of a little bit of a information. This is pre-recorded, so I haven't seen your messages from the last video yet. This is the next day for me. And I'm recording these. But what I have been doing off camera is I've been getting ready. The dog's still here, I haven't showed you guys that. But in here, you know, done some more AFK fishing. But I've been getting some armor ready, because I've got my king armor, but I want to put that to rest soon, and I want to get this armor on. And I've already prepared the boots, I've just got to get the feather falling on it. And you can kind of see the theme we're going to go for here. But I've got helmets, and they both came as Unbreaking 3, but I've got this book here, which is the Sharpness 3, Power 4, Fire Protection 4, Respiration 3, Aqua Infinity, and Mending. All that's going to be going on there is Fire Protection 4, Respiration 3, Aqua Infinity, and Mending, along with the Unbreaking 3 helmets, so let's chuck those on. And we'll call it, ooh, 17 levels, that's expensive. And we'll go to 18. Um, we'll go for the Helm, ooh, helm of Darkness. Just give him nice name, oh, well, not really nice sort of thing. But here we go. We have the helmets done, then we've got um, We've got a Protection 4 and Unbreaking 3 chest plate with a Thorns 2, and then we've got Protection 4 leggings. But if we go into my Ender chest, I have some mending books here. This would be good for a sword, so I might sell that in future because it's alluding to mending Knockback 2 and a Bane of Arthropods 4. The Bane of Arthropods ruins it, but that's a good sword. Then we've got the Fire Aspect 2 and Depths Drive 3, but I've got one more mending book. I want to put that on armor, but I'm not sure if I should... Yeah, I should put on these. So I'm going to put these on. So that's 16. That's 10. I don't have enough for that. That's 2. And that's 2 as well. So if I put this in, that was 16. This was 10. So I need to enchant on thorns. So I'm going to put that on there. It will be cheaper, so we'll go for the... We'll go for the... Oh, it'll be... Oh, I only have enough enough for two levels anyway, so... So what I'm going to do is quickly pick those back up. And put them on. Now I've got no levels, and I've been AFK fishing for ages, and I always seem to lose levels by getting stuff ready but what I do want to do is get my armor ready as I said because I've got my helmet so the armor that I don't really need will be in the armor chest which is here so there'll be that helmet that helmet and these I will need so I'm going to put them in one of my chests I'll just chuck them all in here Oh yeah, good. Now what I do need to see is that I've got a Feather Falling book here somewhere, but I can't find it. Oh, there's a Feather Falling 4. But... Do we have Feather Falling 5? I'm not sure. Like, last last time I ever enchanted greatly was ages back on the Kyle Craft server. And I didn't know, like, back then I would have, but... No, okay. Okay. So we, yeah, I'll keep that book. So we didn't have Feather Falling 5, okay. That makes it easier for me to decide then. Okay, so we'll chuck that on later. But what I want to do today is, I'll deposit some of my diamonds in here. So basically, you know, last episode went for a bit longer than I expected it to be. This episode I don't want it to go forever, but I don't want it to be super quick. But what I want to do is not with a skeleton hunting. I've been doing that off camera. I want to, I want to get stuff prepared. I'm just gonna chuck this over here, and we'll sort through them later. Fish farm stuff can just go into here because they're fish. 
But like I said, I want to kind of tidy up sort of feel. A chest. And where did I ever put my... Oh, I've just got to try and think. Oh, I think it was in here. I'm getting off track. I keep on saying something and then I forget. But, if we get this... Chuck... Come on. There we go. Chuck him in and chuck the stuff that I do need. Okay. Let's go back to what we were saying and doing. There's been some advancements. And it's raining, of course. Great. But, little advancements. You see, paths have been made. Further expansions onto the village. The town, the nation, the city. We've got a well put here. I built this myself and I'm very happy with it. And it's freezing because of the rain. We have stores going in and tidying up. But what I did yes, uh, this morning, sorry, was make a path that comes along here. And I'm building a wall already. Like, we had this installed by one of the people here. Not many people felt like it was that much of a wall. So I started designing this, and I think people are liking it. I hope so. But this is what I'm building. This, I'm just leaving it like this to see if people mind it. I really like the archway sort of feel. Oh, we also got a bridge installed. I did this. I did the wood across. And then I got my good friend Visceral, who's just left. He'll be back later. I asked him what could, uh, if he could make this look better, and he did. It's looking so much better. And then we go into my farming district, the town's farming district, not mine, sorry. And the wall will cut across here, so your entry will be there. This is all temporary, though. These will be moved back. And like into proper positions and be going underground and there'd be like special stuff and I think yeah Hadria's home. Hi Hadria. Oops. There she is. <laughs> okay but back to what we were doing is basically tidying up like you know we've got random trees we've got like flowers and grass because this is a city and it's going to be expanding nonetheless and we've basically a tidy up. Like we've got this random junk chest that used to be a farm. The cow farm's got to be moved soon. And are they grown up? Yeah, I think they are. Let's kill them then. Did that not? There we go. That should get him. Did I cook him, or did I destroy them completely? I feel like I cooked him. Yeah, there we go. We did cook him. Looks like the leather got burnt. Yeah. Okay, that was... That was not what I expected, but... Oh, we've got this. This was things to do. Oh, he's actually got a list. Windmill, more lights, a rebus wall, fire nation wall, my house, a giant statue, Thanatos temple, Thanatos symbol, horse stable, towers for Bendo, make dankest means of 2017 because <laughs> I'm awesome, add something if you need me to do. I'm going to be a bit of a smart aleck. To keep up the good work and writing a massive list. There you go. I'm so kind. But, like I said, I want to basically tie things up. You've got his scaffolding here, and I don't really want to destroy his scaffolding, but... Oh, a statue. This is what he was talking about. A nice big statue. But what I do want to start today is the fish farm over here. We've got a fish farm that's just got loot upon loot upon loot that we could use, but... Oh, I could have used that respiration. But, like, look at all this. So we don't really need all of this. So we're going to go, you know, control Q and chuck out the stuff we don't need. So, like, the saddles, the leather boots... Uh, we don't need clownfish saddles again. We'll keep the fish for future. Keep on chucking out saddles. String. I'll keep the string in there. But uh, we'll keep some of these. Yeah, curse of vanishing. No one wants them. Hmm. Keep on going. Normal fishing rod. Curse of vanishing. Curse of vanishing. Curse of vanishing. I'm not going to make you guys sit here and just watch me file through here at, at all of them. So what I'm going to do is do a 
quick little cut and be back with you guys once I've finished sorting through. See you soon. Okay, so not long after, sure than I expected, we have completed it. And if we just look about, there are four shock boxes. So we got raw fish and raw salmon. We got bows. We got fishing rods. And we have some mend, uh, some not mending, some enchanted books and some, you know, treasurous, treasurous trash. Treasurous trash. We've got some treasurous, treasurous trash. Sounds bad when I say it. Anyway, but if we go back into it, the uh, palace, castle, town hall, whatever people want to call it. We've also got this system here that has trash in it as well. So what I'm going to do is also, you know, scavenge through that. Make it better. Oh, well, we've still got space. Yeah, I'm going to leave it for now. But with all this, you know, I've got to make a proper sorting system. So I'm going to chuck these back in my under chest. Chuck them all in, and I've got some cobblestone, some wool. I'll chuck them into here, which I don't have room for. I know I've got a... There, here's a wool chest, and... Wood. That's not wood. Can go into here. We've got to do a proper go-through of here, but... Right now, we'll just chuck stuff in. Anyway, but back to what I did want to do was... Hedria donated a lot of cobble as well, I should have put it in there. Anyway, but we've got our fern eye system. But we've got to tidy up, so we'll go back to the top. What we were originally going to do. Fly up and rain stop? No. Rain is still here, welcoming back Vistral. Okay. So we finished that task, we want to clear that up. But I think what we want to do is come around and grab this so what's in here oh yeah we'll just grab all this make the place a whole lot neater grab the chest and ta-da look there's some uh, there's some tidying up live on the server we want to breed these cows so people have food so we'll just go through here how's my FPS looking 23. So I feel like the rain kind of takes down FPS. But what I also did want to show you guys earlier was this. Once the cows have been bred. Are we done? Yeah. There you go. Vistra always gets to see the cows pop in for some reason. But anyway. Um, okay. Good luck. We'll go, good luck. Okay, but what I did want to show you was the statistics. We'll go mobs, and look at this. I've been, I've been grinding. Come down to wither skulls, 46, and I still have not gotten a skull. So we scavenge through here. A little bit longer here, we'll just go through, see? Do you see any skulls? No. Well, you see, you'll see the skeleton skulls soon, but not the wither skeleton. I have gotten my elytra before, but like I said, I fell into the I fell into the um, lava, which does remind me I do want to go and find another end city. So we might do that soon with once I get some good armor. But I should sort through these in a further episode because all the chests getting full, but there's no actual sorting, and I'm just doing this. Don't think too much people would be happy. But, enough with just excuses. What I do want to do is the tidying up. So we'll, I keep on saying this, but yet we never do. So, let's have a look for someone that needs to be tidied up that's not scaffolding. Okay, we'll just get rid of this tree. Let's cut this tree down. And then get its building blocks around it. that locked? Yeah. Um, any of these locked? Oh, okay, good. I can put these to, I can give these to him, since that's his place. Let's have a look for some other stuff. You know, we've got the borders, like, unowned, but yet someone's built here. That's weird. Let's see. 
I've, I haven't actually seen Agent. I'll leave it up for the next couple days. If he doesn't come and get it, I will tear it down. TJ, I know TJ. He'll be back on the server soon. And I'll just get him to move the skeletal, skeleton horses. But what I do want to do is once this area is cleaned up a bit, you know, we'll have stables. And you know what? I'm going to tear down this mountain on camera so we'll see some, some dirt getting removed. Might want to turn down my volume a bit more. There we go. But what I do want to do, as well as, you know, tidy up, I want to, I want to build a bit, you see, because we don't often build as much, I mainly, you know, go off, uh, go on camera, present something, go off camera, but I also want to talk to you about some changes for the channel again, I've always got changes because we're ghost box. Yeah, yeah, I got it, yeah. Because we've always got stuff planned and stuff not uh, getting unplanned sort of thing. But what I do want to say is, for all of those who did want to watch Madly Modded, I'm sorry, but I am going to cancel that. There'll be a video out. Uh, well, anyone who hasn't seen the video, because this video will be out later than the actual video itself saying this so if you haven't watched that go watch it but there will be a video another video about channel schedule and I'm gonna I'm gonna ban not ban sorry I'm gonna cancel madly mod because as I've said before my computer isn't a good computer it's a four gigabyte RAM it's a bit laggy you know, I've got one gigabyte dedicated to Minecraft. I can't bump it up for some reason. It just always says, no, you can't. It just crashes. And with mod packs, it gets really laggy. What I wanted to do with Manly Mod was have it as it was, but I also wanted to have a better way of storing stuff. You know, I had the colossal chests there, and they didn't go all too well with trying to find stuff. It'd take upon hours upon hours. Then I thought I'll install a refined storage and I installed that mod and what else did I need? I needed other mod packs to run along with that so that made it a bit more laggy and I also needed um, Ender IO which came up with other mod packs um, just to do item conduits and then I need um, power so I just looked at all that and I said it's laggy enough I get freeze frames every now and then but it's not really great to the viewers so that's why Madly Mod is going to be cancelled. It will come back when I have a better computer, which might be a while. But the good news is, Bendo Craft is coming back. I'm not going to continue on the same world. I am changing to a different world. It will be a season 2 of Bendo Craft, and I'm excited for that. Those will be presented on the video that you might have seen by now. But... I'm going to do it on Wednesday, so my Wednesdays. There's going to be Survival State Monday, Survival State on a Friday, and a, in between those two days will be a Bendo Craft. So you kind of get a break, and you also get to look forward to another episode. So I'm happy with that. You know, we get we get to see Bendo Craft make a return. I did enjoy Bendo Craft, but then I kind of lost passion. I didn't really want to play on as much like it took me forever to get everything really happening I wasn't really happy with what was going on and then you know I wanted to build a fish farm and didn't really back then I didn't really like have passion to go out mining as much as what I should have so didn't get my fish farm done and then I wanted you know I want slime chunks as well so I can get slime for my sticky piston and I can do some automatic builds and you know I had plans but I could never actually put them into action because I was planning ahead of myself and that's what made me lose uh, my passion for actually building on it. I I was actually digging out a uh, slime chunk and then as... Oh, is that a ghost block? I think I got it. But as of Mining it out took forever, didn't have good enough tools, 
yeah, there's, there can be complaints about what I didn't like about the series, there can be complaints about what I did, but I promise you that Season 2 will be better, it will be back soon, and I'm looking forward to it, and I hope you guys are too. But during that, we have leveled this down a lot, like it's, it's now like a monolith, a rock in the ground. Uh, so we're going to continue mining this out. I really need that beacon, as which I was going to say next is the wither skeleton hunting. I, the last episode was too long. Like I thought, oh, I won't even get up to 20 minutes. I won't even get up to half an hour. And as I'm putting the video along, I'm like, oh, okay, well, let's have a look. And I've looking at how long it is and I got up to 45 minutes and I'm looking at that going that does not look so great I won't do with the skeleton hunting on camera anymore so what I'm gonna do is like off camera I go get a skeleton uh, go to the nether you know kill a few hope for a skeleton head so you won't really see it on camera as much I wish you could but just doesn't work out as much because as I've said before I don't have the best recordings, uh, uh, not recording, I love OBS, it's really great. I, f I think I've got the best recording, but my editing software, I don't think it's that great. I enjoy it, but it's not the best, so I can't just do all those nifty tricks, but I I'm happy with it for now. So you won't be seeing wither skeletons and that stuff in there. But hopefully you will see an episode where I've got a beacon soon. But on with bosses, we do need to go to the end. So I'll do an episode in future about the end. I want to get myself an elytra. I want to want to do an episode fighting the ender dragon. Like it's already been fought. It was fought on day two of the server. You know, Kylecraft took five days to find the end. Six days for it to be fully publicised. Because we had people come along and, you know, go, Oh, I found the end portal. I want to keep this secret. So that's what people did. And only selected pe people were allowed to know where it was. And those were the people who were the rich. Because back at the start of Carcraft, believe it or not, I was not the richest. I was actually one of the poorest. I didn't really have great amounts of diamonds. So I was a bit upset with the amount I had. And I remember someone tried to charge me three stacks of diamonds for an elytra. And then someone who knew where the end portal was said to me, hey, these are the coords, you can come find it. And they were really nice. They gave me the coords, I went there and I got myself an elytra. I was really happy with that. And then that day when I got the coords, it got publicised. Then if we look at this server, you know, it took five days for Carcraft. Oh, I'm taking damage, that's a weird ghost block. I hate ghost blocks. Why can't Mo Yang fix it? I don't know, but they're working on stuff, so I, I, I'm not scolding them, but I wish they could fix ghost blocks. But back to what I was saying, two days on this server it took. It was fi found by my buddy Rexel. He messaged me like after I went offline, like ten minutes later, and I've gone to sleep and I wake up in the morning and look at my messages on Discord and. People are like, oh yeah, I found the end portal, blah, 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 blah. And people have already gone to the end and fought the ender dragon. So I won't be able to get the dragon egg in the 70 XP levels. But what I can do is, you know, have that, have that sort of feeling on camera, you know, I'm fighting the ender dragon. Whoopee! Doesn't really sound amazing in my voice right now, but... Oh, sorry, I had indigestion. But I am excited for it, and we'll get this skelly bob. Okay, back to what I was saying. Oh, another one. So we will be going to the end soon, but people... The end port isn't really there, though. It's more like people have got homes there. Like, I've got a home set up there, and that's outside an end city. That's not rated yet, but I've gone to it. So there's something to look forward to. I've already got a home there, but as I was saying... I want to go there myself, I want to go find Ender Dragon, I want you guys to watch it, So because we want to all see me fight the boss, don't we? Like, you guys want to see the Wither on camera, and 
I'm just gonna I'm gonna take the easy way out and I'm just gonna go do the simple uh, what's it called a bedrock trick you know making it glitch into bedrock so now I can just kill it with a couple of swipes it can't hit me can't do any damage but nonetheless boss fights are awesome like I want that beacon I want it bad but you know what was happening yesterday well I'm on the server you know finished up an episode and the owner of the server and a good friend is Dark Designer. He's on the server, he's the owner, and he's working on some stuff. And I've just been in the nether for like in two hours I've been sitting in that nether recording, looking for skeletons, with the skeletons with like three entities. And as soon as I come out and I'm all happy with myself, we're going, eh, I can find another day. There's this thing he's added which is daily chess and weekly chess. And what he's done with those is you can get a prize. So like a daily at every 24 hours you can get whoop, another ghost block. It's probably the same one there. But you can get special rewards and someone got another style of that. And I'm I'm glad that I didn't get it because that would have been really bad for me, you know. Oh, I've been in the nether for the last couple of hours, you know, look at me. I've been with us going hunting and quite upset that we didn't get a nether star but hey I've just opened up a chest and we've got a nether star now so I'm actually happy that I didn't win the nether star like I'd rather have it yes definitely I'd love to have a nether star but I also like the grind of getting there like I want to I want to get that beacon myself like you know go farm those with a skull and the skulls I want to go get all of that instead of just you know, being that guy who's gone up, pulled it out of a chest, said, hey, look, I've got a wither, I've got a beacon. Didn't even have to fight the wither. So, that's something to look forward to, you know, cranking up, uh, cranking the chest. But what I'm going to do is quickly chop down this tree, continue with this, and I'll be back soon. You know, I think I've had enough talking. I think you guys are sick of me talking while just placing these blocks down. So what I'm going to go do is continue on this while you guys can see the next clip. Okay, so I guess by what you can see here, you're probably guessing about what I'm doing in the farming district with Soul Sand. I want to set up a community nether wart farm because nether wart pain to grow if you don't have much of it. Having lots of it is good. And then harvesting and planting, not too hard, but everyone wants a, a machine where they can automatically harvest it. And what I'm doing now is basically building one of those. So what's going to be here is a hopper line. And it's going to go from here into a chest storage facility. Anyway, and with all this being built, How's it going to come down? People may ask. Is water. Water will push the nether wart down. And I've got to have levels upon levels of it. So we can store it all. And it will still look good. So I was just having a look to see if I did it right. We're going to have to run back to the nether soon. Because I'm running out. Yeah, we're definitely going to have to go for a trip to the nether. But if we just continue with these, grab those. Okay, so what's going to happen is I'm going to have, I'm going to do some redstone. And as you guys will know, I'm not the best with redstone, but maybe I could do this. Maybe not. Probably not. What I'm going to do is, oh, I thought that was a dirt from Okay, so I'm going to go do two things in one. So we're going to go to the nether could actually be three. Definitely two. Maybe three. But what I want to do is one, grow grab some redstone. Two is, as you could just see in my inventory, I have diorite in it. So we're going to the nether. I think you can link those two up. Then number three, I'm going to be hunting some wither scones if I can load in. And perfect, there is going to be some angle grinding outside. Don't know if you guys could hear it. 
but there's angle grinding going on. And that's just... Oh, I timed out. That's not very good. Okay, let's try this again. Let's hope I... Okay, good. Uh, thanks. Thanks. Uh, ugh, timed out. Okay. Are there any with skeletons around? Okay, no. But what I want to do is grab some... Grab some good old soul sense. We'll just grab the shovel and spam it across. Another wart here that I can get in future, but I want the soul sand. Not here for nether quartz. See, in Chirocraft I built a lot out of nether quartz. This season I'm going to aim to not really use that much nether quartz. Sorry, not season. This server, I'm going to aim to not use as much nether quartz. I want to I want to kind of go away from the rich sort of stuff. I want to have, like obviously everyone wants to have stuff they need and want. I'm going to go for the feeling like I can automatically generate stuff that I'm going to need. So have an automatic brewing machine, have an automatic sugarcane farm, you know, all that good stuff. But to have that, I've got to build the machinery, so grab all this and have lava come through. Whoops. Okay, I think this will be good. So what I also want to do is chuck in some diorite. Look at that. Good. It's all been burned up. And look at it with a skelly. Let's see if we can get a uh, skull this time. I'm just going to make sure we are recording. I've done this before, as you guys know. Okay, good. I am recording. You guys will know this. I'm just going to make sure. Okay. So, let's land in, get some crits in. And no, did not get a sword. Oh, sorry, a skull. I got the sword, not the skull. The thing I do love about um, Smite is I can one-hit pigmen, but because I'm doing it on camera, probably won't. Oh, yeah, okay. It worked, but this will kill it. That one won't. Or not, okay. Usually, I hit them and they don't die instantly. It's either if I get a crit, I insta-kill them. And if I don't, then I take him to enough damage where I can hit them again and they're dead. Okay. So that hasn't been turned to a blaze farm yet. That can be something for future. But back to what I did want to do was grab some soul sand. That's what we're here for and the real reason. So we'll grab all this. Okay, this should be enough. And we'll go back home, so we'll go slash home, home, as you can see all my farms there, the end, the nether, the spider farm, the mine, the mace, of the desert, and then the last one was with a skelly, and that's a nether fortress above a uh, lava lake, it's not a wither farm yet, I want to turn it into one, it's not going to be a big fancy one that automatically sorts them and kills them, I'm probably just going to do what they did in Hermitcraft season 4 and just have a massive platform upon platform where people can go farm with the skeletons and there'll be other mobs in there like zombie pigmen, magma cubes, blazers but back to this so we've got to go that's three levels we want to have more than three so what we'd want to do is go about five levels would be good so what I'm gonna do is continue building and destroying these blocks and I'll be back after the five levels is completed Okay, so I have been working... Oh, I just realised I'm going to need more buckets than this. Oh, I forgot how we had to do this. But I've been working off camera. And I've gotten the tower completely completed. Well, the structure of it. I've got all the hoppers in. I'm going to need to go make more buckets than this. But it's it's getting there. You know, we've got another walk growing. Like, look, here's a finished one. So, you know, we'll grab that. And look, we got two back so we can go plant this one but sadly I have been talking too much and I've been working and I've been I've been doing stuff that's made me come out of time those what how you say it I've been working and talking and anyway but sadly we are out of time today ladies and gentlemen thank you for watching
could just go do my like baiting. I should be doing it early on in the video. So if you really liked it, please hit that uh, like button. It really helps me. And it really and I really appreciate when you guys help me. But this has been Bendo and I'm signing out. Thanks for watching guys. Bye bye.